Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. If you are a mother, a father, or a grandparent, or whatever, we can all relate to this. Sometimes getting a child to eat can be an ongoing struggle, <laughs> hunty, especially with our babies. And we can, I know, I definitely can feel it because my son, Kingston, hates everything. Mm. But here to help us try to get our babies to eat something, who has a wonderful book out called Superfoods for the Modern Baby. Yes. It is the beautiful and amazing Chef Aki. Yay! <laughs> Thanks for having me. Selena. Oh my God. So, <laughs> Chef Aki, I'm so excited that you have a book like this because, you know, my son is on the spectrum mm. and it's very, very difficult for him to eat um, we're trying to get him to eat anything, especially mm. vegetables. Okay. So what, first of all, what was the inspiration behind you writing this book and creating this book? And um, what are some of the key things that we can do to get awesome. our kids to eat? Well, I'm glad you asked. You know, I was really inspired to write this book three years ago when I had my own son. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Shelva, there he is. <laughs> oh, well, <yeah. laughs> He's three years old mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I certainly wanted to, I feel like I was spearheading this plant-based movement yes. in general for my own life. Yes. And I said, oh my God, now I have to incorporate that into my toddler's life. You know, mm -hmm. how do I do that? Mm -hmm. And what do I what do I do for first foods? Right. I've got to figure this out. Um, I didn't want to do the traditional, you know, rice cereals and oatmeal. Yeah and dairy milks and things mm -hmm. like that. So I, you know, in, in doing this myself every day with my own son, I just had so many recipes that I knew I needed to share with other women. Yes. Now, what, now what are some of the tips that you can give mothers like us to kind of incorporate some non- uh, um, grainy type foods because you're right I think those foods sometimes can cause allergies later on in their Absolutely. lives. Absolutely. So what did, what did you do to kind of incorporate some of these superfoods into their diets in the beginning? Yeah so what I did of course I breastfed for the first year and I think a lot of times we may make the mistake of being too eager to feed kids first yes. of all. So be clear breast is always best yes. right and I know there's a lot of struggle oftentimes women will email me and say I just can't breastfeed mm -hmm. right we're really busy there's so many factors so one of the first things that I did was I started incorporating a superfood grain called Fonio. Ah. This is a new grain, mark my words, within the next two years, this thing is going to be huge. Wow. People are going to be eating Fonio. Why? Because it's full of all the vitamins, nutrition, calcium, iron, phosphorus, protein, mm. and it's a really awesome product. So that's what I have here today, actually. Okay, well, I created some Fonio. So you can okay. have grains, but just switch up your grain. Okay. So this is a great first food, not only for pregnant mothers, but for your first food for your baby. Mm. Okay. And toddlers. My toddler eats this every morning. So we just added a little um, water to this, okay. about a half a cup of Fonio, boiled it up for like six minutes. It gets really creamy. Mm -hmm. And then to this, I like to add just a pinch of allspice, so you can do pumpkin spice, apple uh -huh. spice, and I just add a little coconut oil, uh -huh. and um, I top it with blueberries and hemp seeds, uh -huh. and it's really, really tasty. So just, he loves it. Just, just jam packed with nutrients. Yes. Now, how do you Every get morning. A, a toddler though? You <laughs> know they are off the chain. You how know, do you get them to eat? Well, I'll be honest. First of all, my son was eating this way from the beginning, so that's number mm, one. You start that's early. True. And they're also watching what you eat. Ah. So when we sit down and eat together. Ah, Look at my baby. Oh. We eat together. <laughs> you know, he's he he feels more inspired to eat what mommy and daddy are eating too. Right, so because that's all together. he knows. Absolutely. Right. So he started off this way, and typically, kids like something soft and sweet. It's soft this and sweet, is true. right? Definitely sweet. So I certainly, I mean, I ha I will do spelt flour pancakes, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll add hemp seeds to that as mm -hmm. well. So, you know, I just try to incorporate things that kids like anyway. I put a little fruit on mm -hmm. top, you know, add a little coconut nectar mm -hmm. or agave to sweeten it. Mm -hmm. And he's just fine. He loves it. Now, what are, what do we have over here? So I this some is squash. toddler foods, right? Okay. So now that he's older, of course, I, I mean, I, my goal was just to like put some fat on him, bulk right. him up, right? Because he's a plant-based kid. Right. And so he's a little smaller than the other kids. Okay, right? well, that's all right. So, <laughs> but he's really, really smart, really rambunctious and healthy. Mm -hmm. And so what I've been doing is trying to just keep him off gluten, which... I, you know, I'm always talking about that. I don't even eat gluten, yeah, peace awesome. out, yeah. So for, for us, we've been using um, pastas, but chickpea pasta. Chickpea pasta. And then mm. also, um, we'll do a little kamut or spelt pasta uh -huh. every once in a while, but Where because of the- Where can you get the, those things from? Now, you can get all these things from your local health food okay. store, but I order online because I can get it in bulk and it's a ah, lot less expensive. The so phone certainly, Absolutely, earthgoodness.com okay. cool, as well as Thrive cool, Market. Cool. So yes, I just steam veggies. Mm -hmm. um, for him, every day I steam like, a pot of veggies. Right. So I may steam a pot of veggies 
it takes me two days, mm -hmm. and I will separate it and use it for different dishes, whether mm -hmm. it's with some quinoa grain as a stir fry, mm -hmm. or this amazing dish here. So right. this is the chickpea pasta, yes. and I've actually steamed some bok choy, Ooh. and I put charred a bok choy because it's a really quick and easy soft grain, mm -hmm. uh, green. So I put the bok choy, the butternut squash with some avocado after it's steamed into a little bl blender, just a little baby blender, a food processor mm -hmm. to make a nice sauce. And then from there, you've got all the veggies already in the sauce. Mm -hmm. So that's another quick way, if I can get this thing off, that you can incorporate veggies into your kids' food. They're gonna like the pasta anyway. Right. So if you steam the veggies and blend it in the sauce, mm -hmm. you're good to go. Now, I know that there, you have a vegan lifestyle, and, and basically that kind of covers the gamut on a lot of the it nutrients does. that they need, but yes. there are some that they that they could be missing at times if they don't eat and if they're picky eaters. It's what true. about, um, do you give your children vitamins as well? Do you also supplement as well? I do, I do. Now again, I am loading him up every day with so many things that I'm mm -hmm. hiding in his food, but I also do give my child smoothies that I put sea moss into. You know I'm big yes, on sea I moss. Like sea moss too. Lots the of minerals. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I definitely do that every day. And then every once in a while, because my baby is a um, plant-based baby, I'm very conscious of his calcium magnesium. Yes. So I give him a natural cow mag supplement mm -hmm. in his smoothies as well, and he's good to go. Yes, well hey moms, <laughs> I'm telling you, follow Chef Aki. Thank you so much for Thank these you amazing for tips. Me.